Dragon Ball. I picked up a lot of fighting power. Chapter 31. Seeing this, Midnight shook his head with a wry smile, and then quickly chased after him, came to Bulma and kept admitting his mistake, and after more than an hour of explanation, Bulma finally forgave Midnight. Subsequently, several people came to the door of the registration office of the world's first martial arts conference again, but at this time, Wukong had not yet arrived, and in desperation, the three of them had to register first, and this time the competition Turtle Immortals did not participate. Wukong, this guy is really, the registration is almost over, why haven't you come yet? Klin said a little anxiously. He, he won't forget it. The Turtle Immortal frowned and said. There are only five minutes left, where is this guy Goku falling to the ground and running? Bulma looked at her watch and pouted. Oh, isn't this a turtle immortal? At this time, a slightly mocking voice sounded, and everyone's eyes were also attracted to it. I saw three strange-looking guys walking over, three people wearing uniform dark green clothes, the person in the middle is a thin old man, dressed like a crane, and the appearance of the two next to him is even more strange. On his right hand side is a tall young man with distinctive facial features, but the other party has three eyes, and the other one is a short child, his face is miserable and there are two red spots on the side of his mouth. It turned out to be a crane immortal, I can't imagine that you are not dead yet. The turtle immortal looked at the viewer in front of him, his face showed disgust, and he said sarcastically. I won't die if you die. I heard that your disciples were out of the limelight at the last martial arts conference. The crane immortal sneered and said sarcastically. So what? Hearing this, the turtle immortal frowned slightly and asked. This means that the current martial arts conference has declined, so I brought my apprentice to participate in the competition so that everyone knows who is the real strong. The crane immortal's face showed disdain, and said mockingly. Just ask what kind of apprentice can you teach this old man with half his life? That's better than you bald old turtle. Looking at the two who were arguing, Tianjin Fan shook his head and interrupted the two directly, with the same mocking tone as the crane immortal. Forget it, teacher, don't waste time with this group of idiots, I'll make them look good when the competition comes. Haha, ha, what you said also makes sense. The crane immortal nodded in agreement, and then responded with a smile. Looking at the three departing, Bulma's face rose with disgust, and she said to the turtle immortal, who is that nasty guy? His name is Crane Immortal, and he may be our fierce rival in this competition. The Turtle Fairy replied with a solemn face. Hearing this, Zai's face showed disdain, and said nonchalantly, a strong enemy. They don't deserve it yet. Don't worry, teacher, I can deal with them with one move. Quote. Don't underestimate them at midnight. The Turtle Immortal instructed, turning his head. Don't worry, teacher, I understand. Hearing this, Midnight nodded lightly. Hi everyone. At this time, Goku's voice suddenly sounded, and everyone quickly turned around, only to see Goku wearing the tiger skin of a saber-toothed tiger running quickly. Goku, you're finally here. After seeing Goku, everyone showed a long-lost smile on their faces, and they all gathered around to say hello. It looks like I've grown a lot taller. Said Midnight as he touched Goku's head and smiled. Yes. Goku responded disapprovingly. It's still taller than me. Klin walked to Goku's side, and he couldn't help but purse his lips and said with some disbelief. Okay Goku, you hurry up and sign up. After Goku signed up, several people were also completely relieved, and then a few people came to a high-end restaurant somewhere and began to eat and drink, with the wealth of the Red Forge Legion, plus there was a daughter of the world's richest man sitting next to him, there was no need to worry about Goku's large amount of rice. After eating and drinking, night gradually fell, and several people returned to the pre-rented hotel with cheerful sounds, and after a period of happy gathering, everyone fell asleep. The next day, when the sky was hazy, several people dressed in the special costumes of the Turtle Immortals and came to the venue of the Martial Arts Conference, and Yamucha, under the persuasion of Klin and others, finally got rid of the gentle country and threw himself into the door of the Turtle Immortals. At this time, the martial arts conference was already crowded, and it looked very lively, and when they saw the arrival of Midnight and others, many of the players of the previous martial arts conference showed ugly looks. Welcome everyone to the venue of the world's first martial arts conference again, now please open a draw to decide the opponent. Then several people lined up to get their labels. 
Unfortunately several people were assigned to different areas, and they would not meet in the qualifiers. Now I have invited the number 178 to the fourth ring to compete. As the sound of the radio sounded, Midnight walked into his own ring after saying goodbye to Goku. Boom, boom, boom. Accompanied by a violent vibration sound, Midnight on the opposite side of a huge sumo wrestler, when the other party saw Midnight for the first time, he recognized him as the champion of the world's first martial arts conference. I've watched your game at midnight, and I will do my best to beat you in the first move, and I won't give you a chance to fight back. Hearing the roar of the man opposite, Midnight seemed completely unconcerned, and after sneering, responded, Don't worry, I'll return to my subordinates. You actually underestimate me so much. Hearing this, the man was furious, and used the strength of his whole body to rush towards Midnight, but the moment he approached Midnight's body, he was blocked by an invisible wall of chi. Call. With a gentle breath at midnight, the man was directly scraped out, his body smashed into the wall behind him, and the whole person fainted directly. Player 178 wins. It's really worthy of being the champion of the last competition, the referee swallowed his saliva and said with a frightened face. Well, it's so powerful, it's worthy of midnight. Fortunately, I didn't meet him so early. Klinyamucha was also shocked by the scene in front of him and couldn't speak. This is no longer the realm of martial arts for them. They couldn't help but glance at each other, smiled bitterly and shook their heads and said. Midnight, that's awesome. I really hope to have a good fight with you. Goku clenched his itchy fist and said excitedly. Tianjin Rice, look. On the other side, Dumpling, who had just finished the game, pulled Tianjin's clothes and pointed in the direction of Midnight. This person is indeed not to be underestimated, I think he should be the strongest person in the Turtle Immortal Flow, but he will still lose at my hands after all. As the match continued, fierce battles began in the arena, and soon the eight strong men stood out, and then after a series of draws, the real match finally began. Let everyone wait for a long time, now I announce the official start of the world's first martial arts conference, first of all, Yamucha players vs. Tianjin Rice players. As the referee's voice fell, there was a cheer from the audience, and Yamucha and Tianjin Fan looked at each other backstage, with disdain on their faces at the same time, and then paced to the ring. Hey, Tianjin Rice, right. Advise you to admit defeat obediently. Yamucha took a fighting posture and said proudly. HMPH, just keep barking, I'll shut you up in a moment. Tianjin Fan snorted coldly and said with disdain on his face. Ha. In the next second, Yamucha's body moved and attacked towards Tianjin Rice, and the two immediately fought together, and the fierce battle made the blood of the tube in the audience boil, and they were all immersed in this wonderful game. Bang! 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 The fists of the two collided, emitting a deafening roar, and after a simple discussion, the faces of the two became serious at the same time, and the two figures quickly separated, instantly pulling out a distance of about 7 or 8 meters. It's really a little underestimating you. In that case, let you see my trick, the new wolf tooth wind fist. With Yamuti's violent drink, the body shot out like the wind, and the figure turned into dozens of wolf shadows, emitting a deafening roar, and tore towards Tianjin Rice. Seeing this, Tianjin Rice was no longer careless, and greeted it as soon as he stepped on it, and the fists fought fiercely together like shadows, and the bodies of the two shuttled back and forth in the ring, making people feel dazzled. Well, that's awesome. Klin said with a surprised look at the battle between the two. I didn't expect that Yamucha had improved so much, and the choice to accept him in the first place was correct. The turtle immortal nodded in satisfaction and said. Ha ha ha. On the ring, Tianjin fan couldn't help laughing mockingly, Yamucha's brows wrinkled slightly, and asked a little angrily, what are you laughing at? I thought how powerful your turtle immortal flow's fist was, it turned out to be so vulnerable. Tianjin Fan said with disdain. What did you say? Hearing this, Yamucha became furious, and his body turned into a wolf shadow again and tore towards Tianjin Rice, but at this time, Tianjin Fan's voice did not care, his steps formed a bow shape, and his muscles bulged and bruises erupted, allowing Yamucha's fist to rain on his body. Nope. Impossible, there is nothing at all. Yamucha stopped the movement in his hand and said with an incredulous expression. See. Your tricks are like children. Next, let you see my punching technique. Quote. Brush. 
Saying that, Tianjin Fan's figure moved like a ghost, and in the blink of an eye, he appeared next to Yamucha, and launched a fierce attack on it before he could react. Yamucha's face was solemn, gritting his teeth and trying his best to attack Tianjin Rice, but it looked very difficult, and soon fell into the downwind. Bang! 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 A series of attacks hit Yamucha's body, directly knocking him to his knees, and his body was already covered in scale wounds. It seems that the victory and defeat have been divided. The turtle immortal shook his head and said helplessly. I. I haven't lost yet. Yamucha endured the severe pain and stood up. His eyes became extremely solemn at this time, and then he took a bow step, his hands were crossed around his waist, forming the shape of a calyx. This is Turtle Sek Chi Gung, when did this kid learn it? The Turtle Immortal said with an incredulous look. Ha! As Yamuti burst out again, a white pillar of light shot out of his palms, and seeing this, Tianjin Rice clasped his hands together, and a faint golden light emanated around his body. Rumble. At the moment when the Turtle School Chi Gung touched him, it was directly bounced back, Yamucha saw this and quickly jumped and came to the midair, but the Turtle School Chi Gung fell into the audience behind him, and with the sound of the explosion, the audience screamed one after another. Yamucha, be careful. At this time, Wukong suddenly shouted towards Yamucha in midair, and before he could react, Tianjin Fan directly shot it down from the air, causing it to fall heavily on the ring, and then Tianjin Fan's body fell quickly and smashed on Yamucha's knee. Ah! Uh. As Yamucha's scream sounded, the kneecap of his leg was directly broken, and he fainted directly in unbearable pain. Yamucha. Seeing this, Goku and Klin ran directly up, and the referee also announced the victory of Tianjin Rice at the same moment, and notified the medical staff to rush over. Young Master Yamucha, I'll take you to the hospital. Wait a minute. Just when Puyulu had just turned into a flying carpet, Midnight suddenly opened his mouth to stop the other party, and then quickly helped Yamucha up, took out a fairy bean from his pocket, crushed it, and sent it into Yamucha's mouth. The powder of the fairy bean entrance, Yamucha only felt that there was a warm current left in the body, the broken bones were instantly restored, and the person woke up at the same time, and at this time, Yamucha no longer felt pain, but felt that the whole body was full of strength. Midnight, what did you just give Yamucha to eat, how did his injury heal all of a sudden? Klin looked at the shocked scene in front of him and asked suspiciously. This is Sendo. Midnight is still as thoughtful as you think. Goku recognized Sendo at a glance, and then said excitedly. Sendo. What is that? Klin touched his head and asked again. That's a kind of body food in the Kalen Holy Land, which can make people go three days without eating and have the effect of healing injuries. Goku explained. So it is. Thank you, Midnight. Although he didn't understand anything, Yamucha also knew that it was Midnight who saved him, and immediately thanked him. Really. It's really amazing. The Midnight player fed Yamucha and ate a strange bean, and the injuries on his body actually healed. At this time, the referee was also shocked by the scene in front of him, and quickly picked up the microphone in his hand to explain to the unknown audience. Did I say you're done talking? Think this is your home? Tianjin fan's brows frowned slightly, and said sarcastically. Hearing this, the faces of several people became ugly, staring angrily at Tianjin Rice, and Wukong directly opened his mouth and asked angrily. Yamucha has just lost, why do you have to be ruthless? It's already a blessing that I didn't kill him. Hearing this, Tianjin Fan Xi'an didn't care at all, and left the ring after sneering. Yamucha Combat Effectiveness, 120. Tianjin Rice Combat Effectiveness, 180. Abominable. I will settle this account well with you. Goku clenched his fists and said angrily. Forget Goku, don't be familiar with this kind of person. Klin patted Goku's shoulder and said. But this guy is really strong, you guys have to be careful when you meet him. Yamucha frowned slightly and reminded. Here's the second match, Nanwu vs. Midnight Player, scheduled to start tomorrow morning. As the referee's voice sounded, the people in the venue also dispersed, waiting for the next day's match, and soon nightfall, the Turtle Immortal took Midnight and others to the restaurant to eat. Midnight, your opponent tomorrow is actually Nan Wu who was defeated by Wushan Teacher last time, I think it will be easy to win this time. At the dining table, Klin looked at Midnight with envy and said. Ha ha, to put it in an arrogant way, no matter who I meet, I will win easily. Midnight chuckled and said confidently. 
You guy is really not modest at all. The turtle immortal shook his head and said. Oh, I really hope I can have a good fight with Midnight. Goku swallowed the food in his mouth and said with a look of excitement. There will be a chance Goku. When this competition is over, let's cultivate together, I think of a good place to cultivate, and then our strength will definitely grow by leaps and bounds. Midnight patted Goku's shoulder and said with a firm face. Really? That's great. Goku exclaimed excitedly. At this time, three uninvited guests also came to the restaurant, it was the three masters and apprentices of Tianjin Rice. After wandering around the store, I came to the table next to the turtle immortal, and saw the crane immortal say loudly, bring the best meals here, today I will celebrate the victory of the main gate. By the way, Tianjin Rice, what do you think of the strength of that person from Guixianliu? The crane immortal asked sarcastically. Huh, I have one hand and foot to deal with that kind of guy, and I won't even sweat a little. Tianjin Fan sneered and said arrogantly. That's right. What powerful masters can Turtle Immortal Flow have? Hearing this, the Crane Immortal nodded in satisfaction and laughed heartily. Abominable. This group of guys. Hearing this, Yamucha's entire face turned red with anger, and he gritted his teeth and cursed angrily. Why do you seem to be very unconvinced? Tianjin Fan asked sarcastically. How, do you want to do it? Hearing this, Midnight stood up directly, and the momentum suddenly burst out, and an invisible pressure made everyone's faces change. Why is the momentum on this guy in the night so terrifying, and how much has his strength been raised? The turtle fairy glanced at Midnight with a surprised face, and couldn't help muttering in his heart. This guy. Tianjin Fan's face also became extremely solemn, and he did not dare to underestimate the other party in the slightest. It's Midnight, sit down. During the match, private brawls are not allowed, otherwise you will be disqualified. The turtle immortal stood up, gently patted Zai's shoulder, signaled him to return to his seat, and then slowly walked to the side of the crane immortal. Pounce. Saw that the turtle immortal actually farted towards the other party's dining table and walked straight over, the crane immortal's face changed greatly, quickly covered his nose, and yelled at the turtle immortal. You turtle old man actually fart, it really stinks to death. Lustful turtle old man. Hearing this, the turtle immortal couldn't help it, and directly stood up and opened a mutual scolding mode with the crane immortal, and all the eyes in the restaurant gathered for a while. And at this time, Midnight and Tianjin Rice and others who were eating were also made blush with shame by these two old and disrespectful guys. The next day, the venue of the world's first martial arts conference was crowded with people, just to see a match as wonderful as yesterday. Get out of the way for the old lady. Suddenly, as the roar of the golden blue chi sounded, under the threat of relying on a machine gun, Bulma and the others squeezed to the edge of the venue in shame. Welcome everyone to the venue of the world's first martial arts conference, let everyone wait for a long time. Now I announce that the second game has officially begun. As the referee's voice fell, Midnight and Nanwu also walked to the center of the ring in full view. I didn't expect that my opponent was actually you, although I know that I am not your opponent, but I will not give up. Nanwu clasped his hands together, looking at the midnight in front of him, and his face couldn't help but break out in cold sweat. Let's shoot. Bring out your strongest tricks, otherwise I'm afraid you'll have no chance. Midnight said with a flat face. Ha. Sky cross fist. With Nan Wubao's shout, his body jumped into the air, and then his hands were cross-shaped, and he smashed towards the midnight in the ring. Bang. As Nan Wu's body fell, an invisible wall of chi appeared around midnight's body, freezing the other party. Immediately afterwards, midnight gently waved his hand, and Nan Wu was directly thrown off the ring by his confusion. South. Nan no player falls off the ring, and the midnight player wins. As the referee's voice sounded, everyone in the audience couldn't help but look dumbfounded, completely unaware of what was happening, and then the sound of complaining came. What happened? It's really boring, I thought it would be a wonderful game, it's really boring for me to come here early in the morning to take a seat. Seeing the dissatisfaction of everyone in the audience, the referee could only laugh a few times in embarrassment, then took out a tissue to wipe the cold sweat on his face, and quickly announced the start of the third game. Now start the third game, there are clin players and dumpling players to enter. Boom. As the sound of the gong sounded, clin in the ring quickly put on a fighting posture to observe the other party, 
but even the dumplings always stood in place silent, and he couldn't help but frown slightly. Hey, come on. Hearing Clint's shout, Dumpling was not polite, and he saw his feet slowly leaving the ground and his body floating in the air. Nani. Looking at this scene, Clint couldn't help but be surprised. Brush. Suddenly, the dumpling's body suddenly moved as fast as the wind, and directly attacked Clint. Bang. I saw that the dumpling kicked out and directly kicked Clint into the air, and the dumpling also came to the air, and the two directly started a fierce battle. However, just when Clint had a slight advantage, his body fell from midair to the ring with a brush due to gravity, while the dumplings were still frozen on it. Nan no combat power. 30 midnight combat power. 420. Clint combat power. 110. Dumpling combat power. 105. Flying in the air, this is also too bummer. Since that's the case, don't blame me. Clint's brows frowned slightly, and then his body moved at high speed, so fast that it was impossible for the human eye to see clearly. Dumpling, he's on the left. Hearing the reminder of Tianjin Rice, Dumpling was even more dazed, and was just about to stretch out his hands to find a direction, but was blasted out by a punch from Clint who suddenly appeared. Fight and fight. Clint chased after the victory, and the strong attack forced the Dumpling to retreat step by step, not giving it a chance to fight back at all, but just as Clint forced him out of the ring, the dumpling stopped in midair again. This can't be beaten at all. Clint gritted his teeth and said with an angry look. The dumpling strolled in the air, walked directly above Clint, and then stretched out his finger, the golden light condensed, and the next second shot directly downward, Clint's face changed greatly, and he quickly dodged, and the ring burst open instantly. Midnight, do you think this trick is familiar? Goku turned his head and asked to Midnight. This is that peachy cave wave. Midnight nodded and replied. Huh. At this time, Tianjin Fan, who heard the conversation between the two, frowned, and then walked towards the two, and asked in a deep voice, Do you know Taobai? Of course. He has been killed by Midnight. Goku nodded in response. Hearing this, Tianjin Fan's face changed drastically, and he roared loudly, No. Impossible. How could he kill Taobai? When pigs fly. How is it impossible? Do you think that guy is strong? Even if you are now, you can easily kill him. Midnight said disdainfully. Abominable. Peach is so strong. How could it be? Tianjin Rice Qingjian burst out, gritting his teeth with an incredulous look. The dumplings in the ring stayed in midair, and the golden energy light wave shot towards it, but Clint could only keep rolling in the ring to avoid the opponent's attack. I will definitely lose if I continue like this, but I can't touch him at all. There you have it. Since Yamuti will be there, there is no reason why I won't. After Klin muttered a few words, his steps formed a bow shape, his hands slowly crossed around his waist, and he began to condense the strength of his whole body between his palms. This is. Did this kid learn it too? The turtle immortal said with a surprised look. Seeing Klin stop moving, the dumpling also began to condense all its strength to the tip of his finger, and the next second a golden energy ball the size of a basketball bag was formed. It's too bad, Klin's turtle sec Qigong is not yet proficient, and it is impossible to win the opponent's Dongdongbo. The turtle immortal's face was solemn, and he said with some concern. Klin, get out of the way. Goku immediately shouted. Dongdongbo. Burst out as the dumplings burst, and the golden energy condensed in his hand bloomed with dazzling light and shot towards Klin. Klin's eyes were solemn, the energy condensed in his hand did not hit out, and when the other party's energy landed, his body moved quickly, and the next second he came to midair. Quote, turtle Pai Chi Gung, at the same time, Klin saw the opportunity and directly hit a turtle Pai Chi Gung, and the white energy light pillar hit the dumpling firmly, directly knocking it out. However, just when the dumplings were about to fall out of the ring, he quickly performed a dance technique and stopped in the air, and then dragged his injured body and stumbled back to the ring. Almost succeeded. Let him fly again. Klin gritted his teeth and lamented. I'm angry, now I'm going to fight as hard as I can. Saying that, Dumpling took off his hat directly, and surprisingly, there was still a long black hair on his pale bald head, and then Dumpling's body began to rotate rapidly, directly towards Klin. Bang. In the next second, Klin was directly knocked to the ground by it, and then Klin stood up, touched his bald head, and crashed towards the other party without hesitation. Bang. Hiss. It hurts, it hurts. 
I saw that Klin was directly knocked to the ground by dumplings, covering his head with tears in his eyes and shouting. Still coming. Looking at the unforgiving dumplings, Klin hurriedly jumped, but even the other party suddenly turned around, and his body joined the rotation again, directly against Klin's chest. Abominable. Ha. Klin's face was solemn and burst, and he directly stretched out his hands to take it hard, and his body unconsciously retreated towards the edge of the ring, and at the critical moment, the rotating iron head of the dumpling finally could not hold it and stopped. I actually caught it, Tianjin Fan said in surprise. Now it's up to me, Klin said excitedly, and then stepped towards the ground and rushed directly. Ah. I saw that the dumplings suddenly raised their hands and emitted invisible electric waves against Klin, and Klin's face instantly became ugly, and he sat on the ground paralyzed with his stomach covered. Bang. 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 Immediately afterwards, Dumpling stepped forward and kicked Klin's body with a face, and the screams rang out one after another. Why is this guy so many strange tricks? He doesn't use his hands because he can't put his hands down. Klin endured the severe pain in his body and stood up. His brain spun rapidly, and suddenly he moved and asked, what is 3 plus 4? Hearing this, Dumpling really stopped and began to calculate with his fingers. Good opportunity. Bang. The next second, Klin saw the opportunity and directly punched up, and the dumplings were also knocked out, and then Klin took advantage of the victory to chase and asked a series of math questions, making the dumplings burnt. What is 9 minus 1? Klin asked again without mercy. Hearing that the dumplings began to calculate with his fingers again, but this time Klin directly used all his strength and directly knocked it out of the ring. Equal to 8. Looking at the dumplings that fell out of the ring, Klin chuckled and said. The dumpling player falls outside, the Klin player wins. The referee quickly picked up the microphone and announced Klin's victory. This fool was actually deceived by this stupid trick. I already knew that I would have handed him the math together. As soon as the crane immortal was not popular, he clenched his fists and said angrily. Teacher, I have something very important to tell you. At this time, Tianjin Fan suddenly came over and spoke. What's the matter? The crane immortal asked in an unpolite tone. I have news from my uncle. He was killed by that midnight of the turtle immortal stream. Tianjin clenched his fists and said with a solemn face. What? I said how come there has been no news from my brother recently? It turns out. It turns out that he was by. I will definitely not let you go. The crane immortal looked at the midnight not far away, and there was a strong killing intent in his eyes. As Klin won the game, the referee also announced the time of the next day's match, and the originally lively scene in the venue gradually became quiet, and after midnight and others celebrated Klin, the sky gradually darkened, and everyone returned to the hotel to rest. After returning to the room, several people quickly fell asleep, and after a long time, the door of the room was suddenly opened, and then a man in black quietly walked in, walking straight towards the bed at midnight, and the man in black glanced at the sleeping midnight, and then directly pinched his neck. Syllable. Suddenly, the attack of the man in black was interrupted by a sudden hand. Tianjin Rice, why are you? Why did you come to stop me? After seeing the person coming, the man in black suppressed his voice to the lowest and asked. Teacher, this guy's life is left to me, I will clean him up in the ring. Tianjin Fan whispered. No, this person killed my brother, I must kill him today. The crane immortal shook his head and immediately refused. But you can't kill me. Midnight suddenly opened his eyes and said coldly. Hearing this, Tianjin Fan and Crane Immortal's faces changed greatly at the same time, and their bodies quickly retreated, while at the same time Wukong, Klin, and Yamucha were also awakened, and the three jumped and surrounded the Crane Immortal. Are you? I didn't expect you guys to be so despicable, running to sneak attack at night. Goku frowned and said a little angrily. I must avenge my brother today. The Crane Immortal frowned, said with a look of resentment, and then jumped towards the midnight attack. Then you have to have this ability. Midnight said disdainfully, his body moved quickly like a ghost, and before the crane immortal landed, he directly shot it out and smashed it heavily into the wall. Well, what a speed. Tianjin Fan's face changed greatly, he wanted to stop the crane immortals, but he didn't expect that before he made a move, his teacher had already been defeated. But, why is this kid so powerful? The crane immortal endured the sharp pain in his chest, cursed angrily, and then stood up with difficulty. Boy, 
let you try my trick. Let the horses come. Seeing that the crane immortals were ready to attack again, Midnight said with disdain. Bang. I saw that the crane immortal actually took out two smoke bombs from his pocket and fell straight to the ground, and for a while the whole room was full of smoke, and everyone lost their sight. I actually let him run. After the smoke disappeared, the figure of the crane immortal was no longer in the room, and Yamucha's brows frowned slightly, but unfortunately said. What happened? At this time, the turtle immortal and Bulma and the others also ran over from the next room because they heard the movement. Teacher Wu Tian, this group of hateful guys must be afraid of losing the game to us, so they came to sneak attack in the middle of the night, but unfortunately let the crane immortals run. Klin clenched his fists and explained with a look of indignation. What? I didn't expect you to be so despicable. Hearing this, Bulma directly cursed. Don't talk nonsense, I won't be afraid of you, Teacher Crane Immortal just did this because this kid killed his brother, and he was angry for a while. Tianjin Fan pointed to Midnight and retorted. HMPH, your teacher left you alone and ran away, and you are still talking for him, it's ridiculous. Yamucha said sarcastically. Do you think you can stop me? Tianjin Fan said with a look of disbelief, but he had no bottom in his heart. After all, the strength that Midnight had just shown had far surpassed him. Tianjin Rice, let's go. This is, Midnight suddenly spoke. You want me to go? Hearing this, Tianjin Fan couldn't help but be stunned and asked suspiciously. That's right. I didn't fall asleep just now. I saw it in my eyes the moment you stopped the crane immortal, I don't think you are bad. However, I have something to remind you, you and your teacher are not the same people, and other people's character corruption is not worthy of martial arts at all, and you will destroy you sooner or later by following him. Saying that, Midnight directly asked Wukong and others to make way for Tianjin Rice, and Tianjin Fan was not polite, turned around and left the room. Yamucha, your hatred I will help you repay in the competition. Then, Midnight walked to Yamucha's side and spoke. Actually, it's nothing, I forgot about it a long time ago. If it's really like you said, Tianjin Fan is not a bad person, and the matter of revenge will be settled, after all, I am not as good as others. Yamucha touched his head and said with an embarrassed smile. The next day, after eating breakfast, the others came to the venue of the world's first martial arts conference early, and the excitement in the venue did not abate at this time, and even because of Goku's opponent today, a lot of reporters and girls came. At this time, several people at midnight were chatting happily, and suddenly a group of beautiful girls ran over and surrounded them, and what made Midnight even more angry was that one of the girls actually moved on him and secretly took advantage of him. Such a cute bald head, I've seen your game, it's really powerful. Your explosive head is so romantic, you actually have a tail, I like it so much. You are so handsome at midnight, and the fight is so powerful, this year's champion must still be you. Can you sign us and take a picture? Seeing the three of them surrounded by so many beautiful women in the night, the turtle immortal looked envious, but the girl next to him was not willing to take care of him at all, which was not good for him to be angry, and Bulma next to him had already shown a look of wanting to kill. Ahem. Quote. Midnight, Goku, Klin, Master is going to have a fight with you today. See if your strength has regressed. The turtle immortal coughed dryly and said to the three. Okay, teacher, I'll come first. Seeing this, Midnight quickly opened the hand that kept eating his own tofu, and then squeezed out from the crowd and said excitedly. Huh. Quote. Stinky boy, you can pay attention. The turtle immortal leaned into Midnight's ear and muttered softly. Don't worry, teacher. Midnight smiled softly, compared an okay gesture, and launched an attack himself. Of course, Midnight did not use his strength, although the boxing technique looks dazzling, but as long as it is a real martial artist, you can see its flaws at a glance, but it is very ornamental, and the turtle immortal is also very manly, using his most handsome tricks to catch the attack of Midnight. Midnight is so powerful, this grandfather is also so powerful. For a time, many beautiful women with cameras and signed photos ran forward to surround the turtle immortals, and some didn't even mind the turtle immortals eating their tofu. Seeing this, the Midnight was finally relieved, just want to say that the star chasing woman is really terrible. As the turtle immortal attracted all the beauties around, Midnight and Goku finally breathed a sigh of relief, and then the two walked out of the venue with each other, but at this time, a big car stopped in front of the two. 
The window slowly landed, and a fat man in a white suit appeared in front of the two, only to see him reach out and take the cigar in his mouth, and said with a smile, This is Mr. Goku, we are the organizer, and we want to do an interview with Mr. Goku. Quote. Interview. What is that, is it delicious? Goku touched his head and asked suspiciously. It's going to start the game right away. You guys are going to do interviews now, are we fools? Hearing this reason, Midnight couldn't help but feel a little funny. Less nonsense. The fat man in the suit roared directly, and then three or four madmen with weapons in their hands walked down from the car, surrounding the two of them. It turns out that you are bad people, then I will not be polite. Goku's face froze and then he solved the people around him with three strokes and five divisions, and saw the fat man shivering and begging for mercy in the car, Goku spared him with a soft heart, just warning him not to do bad things in the future. Alright, Goku. The game is about to start, let's go back. Hearing. This, Goku nodded, and then the two walked towards the ring of the martial arts conference. Now the fourth session of the world's first martial arts conference has officially begun. Please Puff Fighter. As. The referee's voice fell, Puff rolled several difficult moves in a row, and then appeared handsomely in the ring. And with his appearance, the atmosphere of the audience was suddenly raised a lot, especially the girls' screams were deafening. That's an exaggeration. Oolong looked at the noisy environment around him and couldn't help but cover his ears. What do you understand? Puff is a hot star recently, not only won two World Martial Arts Championships this year, but also looks very handsome. Bulma explained. The woman of the watery poplar flower really feels unworthy for midnight. Oolong spread his hands and said helplessly. Don't talk nonsense, I don't like him. I'm just stating the facts. Bulma couldn't help but be stunned, and quickly changed her words. Oh, women really don't have a good thing. Oolong gave him a blank look and continued to speak. In other words, where do you think he is handsome? At least more handsome than you little piggy. Bulma said with disdain. You. Hum. I'm ignoring you. Oolong clasped his hands to his chest, deeply shocked in his heart, and said a little angrily. So now, there is another player, who is also the runner-up of our last martial arts conference, the Monkey King player. Immediately afterwards, Goku ran to the ring with a smile and said hello to everyone. Little friend, I advise you to admit defeat, because I can knock you out with one punch. Puff chuckled and said with disdain. I won't admit defeat. Goku said with a serious look. Then you're welcome. Ha. Saying that, Puff yelled, took a standard boxing stance, and attacked Goku fiercely. However, when his fist approached Goku, he suddenly stopped, and then chuckled and asked, why don't you hide? I still feel that my fist is too fast to dodge. Because your fist doesn't look strong. Goku replied with a sincere look. What? Do you know what you say again? In that case, let you take a good look. Hearing Goku's words, Puff couldn't help but feel a little funny, and then his body stepped back a few meters, unleashed a series of handsome martial arts moves, and then knocked down the wall next to him with a blow. Do you see my strength now? I only need 30 seconds to beat you. Puff said with an arrogant look, and then slammed a punch towards Goku. Midnight said, strong will not move, but I will. Goku chuckled, his body sideways to avoid the opponent's attack, and then a series of fast punches hit him. Puff ate pain, and the whole person collapsed directly to the ground and fainted. Monkey King player wins. As the referee's voice fell, many girls in the ring were a little sad, but there were also many people cheering for Goku, among which the voice of Oolong was particularly prominent. Fantastic, Goku, good. What? It turned out that the puff was an embroidered pillow, but fortunately he was not powdered in the first place. Bulma said with a dull expression. Idiot woman, it's useless to be big-chested. I don't know why Midnight fancy you. Oolong gave her a blank look and said with some disgust. You shut up for me. If you dare to chew the root of your tongue in front of Midnight, I will not let you go. Bulma immediately yelled at Oolong. What a surprise, I didn't expect that Goku player actually knocked out the Puff player so easily. Then the next will be the semi-finals, and there will be a Midnight player and Clint player to enter. Time flies so fast, it's my turn to play again, and the opponent is still midnight. Clint looked at the knight and couldn't help but feel the urge to give up the game. Bang. Suddenly, Clint's head was hit by something, and just when he was about to get angry, he 
he saw that the person who hit him was actually a turtle immortal. Stinky boy, what are you thinking about? You have to remember that martial arts is never about beating others and surpassing yourself. The turtle fairy reprimanded Kling's face. I see. Hearing the words of the turtle immortal, Klin instantly realized and rekindled his fighting spirit. That's right, teacher Wushan. How did you get in? I remember it seemed like only people who participated in the competition could come in, right? Klin asked suddenly. This. It doesn't matter, the game is about to start, so hurry up. The turtle immortal touched his head and said with some embarrassment. Subsequently, Midnight and Klin walked to the ring at the same time, and Oolong and the others couldn't help but feel a little embarrassed when they saw this scene, and they didn't know who to applaud for. Klin, do everything you can to strike at me. Let me see your growth over the years, rest assured that I will not use my full strength. Midnight looked at the hesitant Klin in front of him and said lightly. Okay, then I'm welcome. Ha. Klin burst into a roar, his body turned into an afterimage, and he attacked Midnight with all his strength, although Klin's movements were nothing in the eyes of Midnight, but in order not to undermine his self-confidence, he still tried to suppress his strength and fought fiercely with the other party. To explain here, I know that everyone has some different views on combat effectiveness, but these are also set by Xiaobai after looking up on Baidu, so please include more. Klin, have you improved a lot? Midnight said with a flat face. But it's still a lot worse than you, I've tried my best, and I still can't touch you. Klin responded breathlessly. It's time for the game to end. Saying that, he disappeared into the ring in a flash at midnight, and the faces of everyone in the audience couldn't help but become surprised, even Tianjin Rice was no exception. Bang. In the next second, the figure of midnight suddenly appeared, and a punch hit Klin's chest, and Klin was directly knocked out by him and fell to the sidelines. The field. Off the field, the midnight contestants win the game. B. Referee's voice sounded again, and the midnight match also ushered in the end, and then there was a strong duel between Goku and Tianjin Fan. Welcome to the second match of the semi-finals of the world's first martial arts conference. There are Tianjin Rice players and Sun Wukong players invited to enter. Both of them are famous divisions, who can win the competition, let's wait and see, now the competition officially begins. The referee explained with emotion. As the referee's voice fell, Wukong no longer hesitated, quickly ran towards Tianjin Rice, and then stepped hard with his footsteps, directly attacking Tianjin Feng. Bang! Seeing this, Tianjin Fan was not to be outdone, quickly stretched out his arm to block Goku's attack, and then kicked out quickly, but was entangled by Goku's tail, and after spinning a few times, Goku directly kicked it out. Looking at Tianjin Rice flying in midair, Wukong's body jumped up, but Tianjin Fan showed a successful look at this time, and directly shot a whole wave towards Wukong who flew up. Rumble. The hit Goku shot down directly from midair and fell heavily on the ring, leaving a big hole in the ground. In the next second, Wukong jumped out directly from the big pit, and rushed over again with great momentum, but at the moment when he was about to approach Tianjin Rice, Wukong directly began to move at high speed, and his figure instantly disappeared into the ring. Here. Bang. Tianjin Fan's three eyes turned quickly, and soon found Wukong's figure, and then waved his palm vigorously, directly knocking Wukong out. Kid's trick. Ha. Immediately afterwards, Tianjin Fan did not intend to give Goku a chance to react, and directly and quickly rushed up, punching and kicking Wukong madly, and the speed was even faster than the machine gun. Just when everyone thought that Tianjin Rice was in hand, Wukong suddenly sneered, and Tianjin Fan couldn't help but be startled, and quickly retreated several meters away. Nani. Tianjin Raya's face changed, and I saw Wukong suddenly stand up casually, and said with an excited face, you are really strong. So that I can rest assured. Finally, you can use your maximum strength. Hee <laughs> hee, less big talk. You have just used your maximum strength. Tianjin Fan sneered and said. That's right. But that's the power of the game, and then there's the power of the fight. Out of the middle of the night, you are the first person who wants me to use my full strength. Saying that, Goku's body rushed over like a ghost, and Tianjin Rice, who did not react, was fiercely attacked by Goku on his body. Think. I can't imagine that there are still guys like you in the world, and my blood is already boiling. Tianjin Fan gritted his teeth, 
endured the severe pain in his body and stood up, and said with an excited face. Such a tough man, I like it. The voice of the blonde Lanchi suddenly sounded, Bulma and the others couldn't help but be stunned, and they all cast strange eyes, the implication was that the sister's taste was quite unique, and the play was quite perverted. But I must win this game. Tianjin Fan continued to say coldly. You dream. Goku replied when he saw it. Now I'm going to start using my full strength. Saying that, the bodies of the two fought together again, every touch of the two came with a burst of explosions, fists and feet had a lightning and thunderous speed, which has exceeded the degree that meatballs can observe, and the two are evenly matched, presenting a wonderful fighting picture. The battle between the two continued, and the figure suddenly turned into seven paths, encircling the Tianjin rice balls. It's just an afterimage fist, and you want to lie to me. On top. Tianjin Raya's eyes turned crazy, and suddenly he burst into drink, looked directly at the sky, and then punched out, but even the figure of Wukong in the air actually became illusory. You guessed wrong. Wukong appeared behind Tianjin Rice, grimaced at the other party, and directly waved his fist to attack, who knew that Tianjin Fan's figure also became illusory. You're fooled. Tianjin Rice suddenly appeared above Wukong with a smug smile on his face, and then smashed his fists fiercely, who thought that Wukong's figure actually became illusory. Ha! In the next second, Wukong's figure actually appeared again, and then a heavy blow flew out of Tianjin Rice, and at the same time, Wukong's illusory figure all disappeared. It's wonderful. This virtual battle is really dazzling, I don't know if the Tianjin Rice player can still stand up after eating a heavy punch from the Monkey King. The referee held the microphone and explained excitedly. But, Tianjin Fan endured the pain, stood up, and then put his hands on his temples, and roared loudly. Sun Fist. In the next second, the dazzling light burst out like a flash bomb, and the sudden light made Goku's eyes unable to open at all. Bang. Immediately afterwards, Goku took a heavy punch, and his body was directly knocked out. It hurts. The eyes hurt. As the light disappeared, Goku rubbed his eyes and stood up again. Nani. You can actually stand up, how can this kid's body be the same as an iron strike? Tianjin Fan's face changed drastically, and he muttered in a low voice. Really? It's so powerful, the Tianjin Rice player actually directly released a powerful move, and our Monkey King player can actually stand up casually after receiving a heavy punch. Both of them are worthy of being famous, and who will win this game lose, let's wait and see. The referee picked up the microphone in his hand and explained with an excited face. It's really strange, how can that referee have nothing to do? Klin rubbed his eyes and asked with a curious look. Because he's wearing sunglasses just like me. The turtle immortal explained. Sun Wukong, I admit that you are very strong, but next, I want to be serious. Tianjin Fan said with a serious face. Let the horses come. Ha. The two shouted at the same time, and their bodies quickly rushed towards each other. Dumpling, fix him. The crane immortal whispered to the dumplings beside him. Bang. At the same time, Goku's body suddenly stopped, and Tianjin Fan also took this opportunity to directly blast Goku out with a punch. But, abominable, how despicable. Goku stood up with severe pain and said a little angrily. Nani. You actually call me mean. Can't beat it, just play late. Quote. Give me death. Hearing Wukong's words, Tianjin couldn't help but be stunned, and then became angry again. Wukong was not to be outdone, his eyes froze, and he attacked Tianjin Rice again. Bang. However, at the critical moment of the fight between the two, Goku's body was once again resisted by the special function of dumplings, and he was hit head on by Tianjin Rice and fell heavily on the ring. What's going on? How could Goku show such a big flaw? Klin frowned and asked suspiciously. I actually used such despicable means all the time. Goku stood up in severe pain and cursed angrily. What more nonsense are you talking about? Tianjin Fan asked with a solemn face. You're less garlic. Goku said with a look of resentment. Could it be? Dumplings, is it you? Tianjin. Fan turned around, glared at the dumplings fiercely, and directly questioned with the secret technique. Master. Discovered by Tianjin Rice. What are we going to do? Dumpling asked with a flustered look. Tianjin Rice, hurry up and throw this kid down for me, and then go and kill that kid named Midnight to avenge your uncle. The crane immortal ordered. 
I'm sorry teacher, I can't promise you, I want to have a fair fight with him. Tianjin Fan lowered his head and refused. What do you say? Hello disobedience to the master's order. The crane immortal asked with a look of resentment. Dumpling, unlock the spell for me. Tianjin Fan did not pay any more attention to the crane immortals, but said to the dumplings. Hearing this, Dumpling directly unlocked Goku's body fixing technique, and Goku finally stood up freely. Tianjin Rice, do you dare to disobey the master's order? The crane immortal said to Tianjin Rice with a gloomy face. I just want to defeat him with my own strength, not with this kind of inferior trick, so please don't interfere anymore. Tianjin Fan lowered his head and said pleadingly. I order you to kill him now, the crane immortal scolded sharply. I'm sorry teacher, I can't promise you. Tianjin Fan shook his head and refused. What do you say? Don't forget who gave it to you, you dare to betray me, I will kill you. The crane immortal immediately became furious, turned to the dumpling and said, Dumpling, resist him for me. Quote. No. No, I can't hurt Tianjin Rice. Dumpling shook his head and said with a worried face. What do you say? Even you dare to betray me. Give me death. Hearing this, the crane immortal's face became even more ugly, and the room was ready to kill the dumplings. Get out of the way. Ha. Suddenly, with the burst of the turtle immortal, he directly hit a turtle faction Qigong to knock the crane immortal out. Now that there are no more people in the way, the game can continue. The turtle immortal said in a deep voice. I don't know what happened, but the game continues. After the referee reacted, he continued to speak. Although I betrayed the division, but I don't know why, there is an unprecedented ease, now there is no grudge between Crane Immortal Flow and Turtle Immortal Flow, my only goal is to hit you. Tianjin Rice said with a serious face. Now you look a bit like a good person. It's also true that Midnight is right, you may really be our friend in the future. Goku also had a long lost smile on his face and spoke. Ha! As the two burst into laughter, they fought together again. But at the critical moment when the two clashed, Tianjin suddenly stopped the action in his hand, leaving his own flaws to Wukong, who suddenly couldn't contain his hand, and directly hit the heart of Tianjin Rice, knocking it to the ground. You. Why not hands? Why don't you fight me seriously? Goku stopped and questioned. So we have the same degree on our hands. Next, it's the game I want. Tianjin Fan said with a serious face. You guy. Goku's face froze, and he couldn't help but admire the Tianjin rice in front of him. On the other hand, after the crane immortal was beaten away by the turtle immortal's turtle faction Qigong, Midnight quietly left the venue of the world's first martial arts conference alone and galloped towards the direction where the crane immortal was. After flying for nearly 10 minutes or so, I came to a towering cliff at midnight, and I saw the crane immortal being hung on a branch below the cliff at this time. Stinky boy, how are you? The crane immortal performed the air dance technique, endured the severe pain in his body, and after coming to the cliff, he found the figure of midnight, and immediately said angrily. Aren't you trying to kill me? Now I'm right in front of you, you do it. Midnight said with a flat face. Abominable. I want you to pay for my brother's life. Go and die. Dong Dong Bo. The crane immortal drank violently, and then gathered the strength of his whole body to the heart of his fingers, and hit Midnight's body firmly. How? How? Possible? The face of the crane immortal suddenly changed drastically, and he saw that there was no damage at all after Midnight was hit by his full force. Show you mine, Dong Dongbo. Midnight stretched out his finger, and with a slight click, the golden energy directly penetrated the chest of the crane immortal, and his body also fell under the cliff. Looking at the crane immortal who died in front of him, Midnight did not make any nostalgia, and directly turned around and flew back to the scene of the world's first martial arts conference. In the ring of the world's first martial arts conference, two strange figures collided with each other, and the collision of fists and feet was like a thunderous bombing sound, and all the audience's eyes were attracted by this wonderful picture. Where did you just go at midnight? Seeing midnight, Clint asked curiously. Go to the toilet. Midnight responded with a smile. You really missed a wonderful scene just now, that Tianjin branch actually grew two hands, and Goku was even more powerful, directly defeating it with eight hands. Clint told the wonderful fight scene just now for Midnight. Sun Wukong, I admit that you are very strong, next I will use my trick, if you don't want to die, quickly dodge. 
Hearing Tianjin Raya's words, everyone's faces changed, and the dumplings roared directly. Is it a Qigong cannon? Stop Tianjin Rice, you will die like this. Quote. Don't worry, as long as you don't use your full strength, you won't die. After Tianjin Rice comforted the dumplings, his body slowly left the ground and came to the sky, looking down at Goku in the ring. Let's take it. Monkey King. Quote. Tianjin Rice still mobilized the power in his body, gathered all of them in his hands, and saw a faint light emitting from his palms. Qigong Cannon. Tianjin Rice roared, and a wave of light with a strong aura shot out from his hand, and suddenly burst into a dazzling light, making everyone can't help but open their eyes. Rumble. As the Qigong Cannon fell with a bang, the ground echoed with a violent explosion, and as the dazzling light dissipated, everyone's sight was restored, only to see that the ring at this time had long disappeared, and Wukong's figure did not know where to go. Enlightenment. Goku won't be killed by this trick. Klin said with a look of horror. I didn't expect the Crane Immortals to even teach such a cruel trick. The Turtle Fairy said with a serious face. Goku is not dead yet. Above. Heard Midnight's words, several people suddenly raised their heads, and saw that hundreds of meters in the air, Wukong's figure slowly fell. I actually jumped so high in an instant, how did this kid do it? The Turtle Immortal said with a surprised look. Oops, this game is Goku who lost. The Turtle Immortal suddenly changed his face and said. For. Why? Klin asked with a puzzled look. Now that the ring has disappeared, and Goku is flying in the sky again, as soon as he lands on the ground, the match will be over. The Turtle Fairy explained with a solemn face. Just as the two were talking, a white pillar of light fell from the sky, and I saw Wukong use the impact of Turtle Pai Qigong to slam into A Tianjin Rice. Tianjin Fan, who had lost his strength because of the use of Qigong cannons, at this moment, after Wukong's impact, the dance technique could no longer be maintained, and the two slowly fell from the sky. Bang. This time the game did not appear as the original car hit Goku, because of Newton, Tianjin Rice, whose body was already larger than Goku, landed first, and this game Wukong also won. Seeing this, everyone quickly ran to the side of the two, and Midnight took out a fairy bean directly from his pocket and fed it to Goku's mouth, and soon Goku recovered full of vitality. And at this time, the dumplings also quickly ran to the side of Tianjin Rice, and when he saw this, he also threw a fairy bean to it in the evening, and the dumpling glanced at the recovered Wukong, and then quickly learned to feed the fairy beans to Tianjin Rice into his mouth, and the Tianjin Rice that was almost dead was instantly resurrected with blood. Tianjin Rice, who woke up, told the story of the game through dumplings, and also understood that he had lost the game, but at this time he was not unhappy, because he met an opponent worthy of his fight. Midnight, why are you saving me? Aren't we enemies? Tianjin Fan walked to the side of Midnight and the others and asked suspiciously. I've never considered you an enemy. Midnight chuckled and responded. E.H. Heard this, Tianjin Fan couldn't help but be stunned, and then a trace of desolation crossed his face, at this moment, he was considered to have betrayed the division, and he hadn't figured out where to go in the future. The turtle immortal seemed to see the other party's thoughts at this moment, so he walked in front of him and said persuasively, Anyway, you can't go back to the crane fairy flow, it's better to join me the turtle fairy flow, although you have done a lot of bad things, but you are lost. What's more, we can see that you are dedicated to martial arts, and the crane immortals are not the same people at all. Quote. After a series of conversations, Tianjin Fan still refused to worship the Turtle Immortal stream, no matter how everyone did not work. Fortunately, the last few people can be regarded as reconciliation, although they can't be brothers of the same sect, but at least they have become friends. Ahem. At this moment, the referee who was ignored by everyone cleared his throat, then picked up the microphone in his hand and spoke. Thank you two players for this wonderful match, and congratulations to the Monkey King player for entering the final. Quote. I really didn't expect that this year's competition turned out to be the same as the previous one, and it was still Wu Tian's two strong disciples to compete for the championship and runner-up, so who is the champion this time? Let's wait and see. Due to the destruction of the ring, this match will be postponed until the next afternoon, and we will see you tomorrow, everyone. As the referee's voice fell, the audience in the venue also left, and at this moment, only Midnight and Goku and the others who were still celebrating in place. Later, 
Tianjin Fan walked in front of Yamucha, lowered his head and said with an apologetic face, I'm sorry, what I did during the competition was very excessive, please don't take it to heart. It's okay. I have long forgotten about this matter, and I am convinced to be defeated by such a strong opponent as you. In fact, teacher Wu Tian is right, you can join us now. Yamucha smiled and said without care. That's right. You are such a wild man, the old lady likes it. At this time, the blonde Lanchi suddenly spoke. Everyone couldn't help but show surprised eyes. These are your kindness. But I want to travel the world with dumplings now, so I won't bother. Tianjin Fan said lightly. Everyone must be hungry, today I will treat you, everyone eat casually. Midnight suddenly spoke. Good. Hearing the meal, Goku exclaimed with great excitement. You won't be going to invite everyone to the buffet again, a photo of Goku has been posted at the door of the nearby cafeteria, forbidding us to enter. Bulma put her hand on Midnight's shoulder without hesitation and said with a smile. Ha ha ha. Hearing this, everyone couldn't help but laugh. The next day, the afternoon competition had only started in the early morning. But now the venue of the world's first martial arts conference was already overcrowded, and many spectators came to occupy seats overnight, and even more so they directly hugged the staff to build his ring, just to quickly watch the wonderful final. As time passed little by little, the final of the world's first martial arts conference finally ushered in the opening, and the somewhat haggard audience who were originally tortured by time instantly boiled with blood in the stadium after hearing the referee's voice. Good afternoon, everyone, welcome to the final championship competition of the world's first martial arts conference, I believe everyone is no stranger to the next two players. They are the disciples of the turtle immortal flow, and the two masters of the martial arts god Wushan teacher, let's welcome them with warm applause. As the referee's voice fell, the blood in the stadium suddenly boiled, and the applause and shouts were deafening and endless. Midnight, I can finally fight you. Goku clenched his fists and said with a look of excitement. I won't show mercy to my subordinates. Midnight touched his nose and responded. Boom. With the sound of the gong, it was also announced that the final of the world's first martial arts conference was the beginning, and everyone in the audience couldn't help but lift their spirits, instantly boiling, waiting for the next wonderful scene. Sun Wukong's gaze was solemn and he put on his own unique fighting posture, while Midnight was in a state of indifference, showing great ease. With a gust of wind blowing, Goku's figure instantly disappeared in place, the fist in his hand attacked towards Midnight like a storm, and Midnight was not to be outdone and fought with it, the figures of the two completely disappeared in the ring, and everyone heard the roar of fists and feet from the ring, and cracks were shattered on their ground, but they couldn't see the slightest figure. Well, it's so fast, I can't see their movements at all. Klin rubbed his eyes and said in surprise. Have these two brats grown to this point? Even I can't see clearly. The turtle immortal's face changed drastically, and he said in shock. That's awesome. Sun Wukong's strength is much more powerful than yesterday. Tianjin Fan looked at the speed of the two, and his face couldn't help but show a surprised expression. Bang. With the sound of a violent fist and foot collision, the figures of the two gradually separated by five or six meters, Wukong's face could not help dripping sweat, constantly panting, it was obvious that the fight just now consumed a lot of his physical strength, on the other hand, the night was a light and breezy look, and it didn't seem to use much effort. Midnight you are really good. I've tried my best and still can't touch you. Goku took a fighting stance again and said in surprise. How Goku, are you planning to admit defeat? Midnight said with a chuckle. It's impossible for me to throw in the towel. Ha. Huh. In the next second, Goku's figure moved again, attacking towards Midnight like lightning, and all the power in his body was condensed in his hands. Bang. The two punches collided, and Goku was shocked back several meters away by this blow, and fell off the ring by only one step, while Midnight still did not use his full strength. Come on Midnight. Midnight is so powerful, even Goku is not his opponent. Bulma in the audience said with a look of excitement. Cut, so you're the same Goku loser. Oolong saw the timing and asked rhetorically. Of course I hope my boyfriend wins. Why, do you want to lose at midnight? Bulma asked imposingly. People haven't agreed to be your girlfriend yet. Oolong pouted and said. Bang, I want you to take care of it. Bulma punched Oolong's head directly and said angrily. Above the ring, the battle between Goku and Midnight continued, 
and at this time, Goku was a little embarrassed after competing with Midnight for Turtle Qigong, and the martial arts uniform on his body was also torn, leaving a lot of scars on his body. Goku, it's time for the game to end. Let you try my new trick. Midnight looked at the panting Goku and said softly. Midnight took a deep breath, slowly raised his hands, and then the energy in his body began to gather in his palms, emitting a faint gray light, and soon his palms formed a tornado-like vortex, and many tiny blades were spread inside it. Vortex Air Knife. After Midnight said lightly, the vortex of the two tornadoes began to grow to the appearance of three or four you, the two forces intertwined with each other, making a clanging sound, the wind was raging, and the momentum was surging towards Goku. Looking at the pressing whirlpool, Goku's face changed greatly, he could clearly feel the power contained in it, and then the short figure half squatted down, his hands crossed around his waist, and quickly gathered all the remaining strength in his body. Turtle, Pai, Chi, Gong. In the next second, a deep white light bloomed, and an energy shock wave shot out at the interlacing of Wukong's palms, and the majestic power was like a fierce dragon, overwhelming attack. The powerful momentum of the two made everyone present stunned, and with the explosion of the power of the two, the entire ring was rumbling and began to tremble violently. Rumble. The two forces collided together in an instant, but what everyone didn't expect was that when the white shockwave came into contact with the two dragon winds, its energy was instantly shattered and instantly engulfed. This. What is this? Even the turtle school Qigong can't be broken. Klin said with a shocked look. The lethality of this trick is so terrifying, what has Midnight experienced in recent years to create such an amazing trick? The turtle fairy said with a solemn face. Goku quickly dodge, with your current strength you can't stop it, you will be smashed to pieces. When the turtle immortal saw Goku, who was still ready to fight desperately, his face instantly changed drastically, and he hurriedly shouted. Ha! However, Goku ignored the words of the turtle immortal, gently raised his hands to block his face, and used the power of his whole body to form a wall of energy chi around his body. Rumble. In an instant, the two energies collided together, and Goku's defenses were instantly disintegrated, and the clothes on his body were disturbed in the blink of an eye. Ah. As Goku's painful screams sounded, the bloody wounds cut by the air knife could be clearly seen on his body, and Senbai was shocking. Goku, you quickly admit defeat. Klin's eyes instantly moistened, and he immediately roared. I. I will never throw in the towel. You are not allowed to stop at midnight. Goku roared, his face showed a hideous look, at this time the surface of his body had been stirred up and festered, and it was extremely painful to see this scene at midnight, and when he was about to stop, he was stopped by Goku's scream. Looking at Goku, who was still experiencing life and death torture in the two whirlpools, Midnight quickly took out a fairy bean from his pocket for backup, although he didn't use his full strength, but it was not something that Goku could easily resist now. Ha! Yes. Goku suddenly burst out in pain, and a white light burst out from his body, and Midnight knew very well that this was the last trace of power in Goku's body, and he also used this power to scatter Midnight's vortex air knife. I. I did it. Goku gritted his teeth, and after saying a difficult word, the whole person fell directly. At this time, Goku's body could no longer see a complete piece of skin, and the whole body was blurred with blood and flesh, and some timid spectators had even been frightened and fainted. Seeing this scene, before the referee could start counting down, Midnight jumped over, crushed the fairy beans in his hand, and fed them directly into Goku's mouth. Thanks for watching.